baby. Well, you know, it's busy, bro. Some guy named Mike. I don't want to be a rapper. That's that new handle. And what's that last thing you told me? More support music, baby. More motherfucking support music. More support music. Thank you. The name says it all. My G. My G. Yo, what up, fan fam, man? It's your boy, some guy named Mike. I'm about to upload this carbon monoxide uh, review video. But before I do that, I just wanted to give you a quick, quick, quick shout out to every last one of y'all. I haven't uploaded a fucking video in like seven months since the Rick Ross all I do is win verse and literally literally not one subscriber gone if anything I gained a few more since then that's literally as real as it gets and I just want to say that I really really appreciate that so enjoy this review I even threw in some bonus footage from the carbon monoxide tour you're going to love it you're going to love it it's your boy some guy named Mike man I had to do this I'm like a bone almanac I, I, I got history of bone so this my two pieces on what I think about it what up hold on hold on hold on get the vibes right get the vibes right yo foremost man I, I have to do this. I, I have to do my review of the new Busy album, Carbon Monoxide, just dropped today. Um, we all know the history behind it. It's his self-proclaimed best work ever. His self-proclaimed best work ever. Um, Blaze co-signed the same thing, said it's going to be a classic. The fan hood is going to absolutely, absolutely love it. And I just have to give my two pieces on this album. Um, you know, I, as I know so much about uh, Bone, it's, it's truly ridiculous. T-Real, what up? He know what time it is. He know what time it is. Salute, soldier. Uh, Kevin Golage, what up? You know what time it is. Salute. Ali, that girl, what up, baby? You know what time it is. And BB, saying to you, man, it's all love, it's all found. About this album. Whew. First of all, I've listened to this album twice now, front to back. I just took an hour drive to Tampa, um, and I listened to it front to back on the way over there, and I just listened to it front to back on the way back, and I just reached my destination. So I just listened to this album twice, front to back. It's fucking brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. It's amazing. I easily, 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 easily co-sign this is Busy Bones' best fucking work ever. Now, I feel like in all fairness, if you're ranking this album, it's only a matter of where does the album rank. Um, first and foremost, Blaze, let me get this out of the way because you, you definitely deserve this. I'm the type of guy that actually pays attention to production, whether I go to a show, whether I'm listening to an album, whether it's anything, I pay attention to production. I pay attention to the mix and mastering. So let me get this out the way foremost. Blaze, fucking production, mix, mastering, and engineering is easily a fucking 15 or 20 out of 10. Easily, easily. Let me repeat that. 15 or 20 out of 10. Easily. Get that shit the fuck out the way. Now, as far as... The, the only question is where does this album rank against Busy's other albums? And for the record, this album is so fucking brilliant. It's so fucking classic. I'm ranking it in the same bag as Bone classic albums. That's right. Bone Thugs and Harmony classic albums. Fucking Creeping on the Come Up, East 99, The Art of War, uh, BTNH Resurrection. I'm ranking it in, in, in that same bag as just throw it in the bag, my nigga. It's another classic Bone album. I appreciate the fact that it is modern. It's a modern fucking 
Bone album and Busy Bone solo album. You know what I'm saying? So I think what it really boils down to is where does it ranks to you as far as your favorite albums? Believe it or not, my favorite album always was, my favorite Busy solo always was The Gift. Don't get me wrong, Heaven's movie is classic as shit. It's that classic East 99 Art of War classic. That whole bone era, we already know what the fuck I'm talking about. But my favorite Busy album, I think, always has been The Gift. It's just something about it. It has too many songs on there that I am so emotionally attached to. Fucking, especially on the back end where you get Father, you get um, Jesus, you get fucking, uh, you got Friday, you got that... Um, don't be dumb you got that shit you got um that fucking you've been sent to so far. i ain't even do shit before i go you got all that shit like all those songs i really like a fucking lot they're just so emotionally close to me just the way it sounds then this is the only way that i can compare carbon monoxide to my favorite bone album which is my favorite busy solo album which always been the gift the biggest two difference I notice is between these albums. And for the record, Carbon Monoxide is easily eating up the gift in my mind. Like, this shit is just... Listen to this. Man, come on, man. Like, I don't think people... And this is what I like about this album so much. Is the lyrics. Busy, I think this is, he's always been a personal rapper, but he's talking about a lot of personal shit. He's going very personal on this album. Even this song, Stalking Me. Don't let the fact that it's a single fool you from realizing it's a great fucking song. As a matter of fact, Stalking is one of my favorite songs on this album. All right, bitch, you wanna be famous, you better come up on another link. Like, God damn. Bitch, you wanna be famous, you better come up on another, man, come on, man. Anyway, but you know, this, this is where I separate the gift and this. The gift has beats. The gift has beats. You know what I'm saying? Which I feel I tend to get a little bit more emotionally attached to. You know what I'm saying? Like you got that. Before I go, that's a beat. And you got well, that. Far everywhere. That's father. Like, I like that's beats. I like beats. That's one thing I like a lot about Bone is their beats. This fucking carbon monoxide is a classic album. This is what makes it a classic album. It's fucking, that's like, for example, and there's so much shit. I told you, I pay attention. There's so much shit. That most people won't even realize. I pay attention to it, so I notice it. That's like that song fucking Enigma, I think it is. Do anybody realize that that song starts off as a fucking sonata? A classical piano sonata, and it transforms into something dark as shit. I'm going to run stalking back because that's my shit. And it transforms into something dark as shit. And Busy kills it kills it like this album has blaze i know what you're talking about bro i pay attention to it the chord progressions and the the pauses and the way it's all structured and the sonatas and the way you take fucking instruments from one song and put it in the interlude of a previous it takes time to digest all of that shit and a lot of people won't get that immediately you know, this is an album that you listen to and you're a hundred times listening to it. You would catch some shit that you didn't catch before. It takes time to process all of that. This shit is fucking brilliant. It's fucking classic. It's, and I'm not just saying that just to ride the wave. I really, really, sincerely fucking mean that. It's a classic ass album. And even though I like beats and those melodies that the gift kind of has, I appreciate this kind of shit too. It's classical fucking music mixed with hip hop and mixed with just the brilliance of Busy Bone and I like that he's rapping he's spitting some real lyrics he's getting very personal on this album and I like that 
a lot, a lot. So, I guess that's the best I can say, man. I probably got it all out within eight minutes. That ain't too shabby. But this is my review of carbon monoxide. Officially, it's easily fucking at least a 10 out of 10. That's where the conversation fucking starts at. It's a brilliant fucking album. Happy birthday, Busy. Happy birthday, fucking Blaze. I seen this your shit too. You guys deserve it. And I hope you continue to get more and more and more and more success from this shit. And you fucking deserve it. And as far as any critical points that I could say about this album, for one, there's no little busy that kind of hurt a little bit. YBL Sinatra is a fucking beast, but there should have been little busy, man. How can you not have little busy on this shit, man? Busy bone with little busy, come on, man. And of course, you know there's no presence of bone. Um, but you know, at the same time, I could kind of respect even that because you know, Busy always kind of been that dude, and I actually kind of like that it puts it in its own unique pocket without the presence of bone. So, you know, I kind of complain that there's no bone on here, but at the same time, I can appreciate that there's no bone on here because that's what makes it so unique. So, that's all I got to say about it, man. Congratulations, man. It's your boy, some guy named Mike Busy. One day, I'm pretty sure we will work together, man. You're a fucking musical genius. And it's just amazing to see you excel into your brilliance and excel into your genius. I've been following y'all niggas for a long time. I told you that when I met you. I know your public history. Um, and I say that because only you know what the real story is and what's really going on. But even despite that, it's amazing to see you just rise like a fucking phoenix. It's your boy, some guy named Mike. Holla. Carbon monoxide. Get that shit.